guys it's Janice from Ozark Family Homestead and I did my weekly sale ad shopping and came home with it it's all back here on the table lots of goodies mostly healthy things with a little bit of treat thrown in there too and I will tell you up front this is I think one of my biggest savings hauls that I've been able to do. So for those of you that are new here, my name is Janice. Um, I have a family of nine, seven children, ages 19 down to three. Um, I'm pretty strict on our grocery budget. I set aside $1,100 per month for our family of nine to cover all of our groceries from the store and household goods like toilet paper, paper towels, all that kind of stuff. That breaks down to about $122 per person for the month. And I do one big massive once a month stock up at the beginning of the pay period. And then each week I go back and I just get the best of the best deals through the grocery store, the sale ads. And that's what this video here is about. I went to 10 box, Aldi and Kroger and I have the sale ads here, so we're gonna go through the sale ads and see what items were good deals, and then at the end, we're gonna compare our prices to Walmart. If I had gone into Walmart, what would my savings have been, if any? So, um, we'll get ready to get started here and uh, just see what I got this week. So here we go. Okay, guys, look at all that pretty food. We're gonna go to the end down here and I'm gonna start off with 10 box. 10 box is simply a local chain of grocery stores. Um, what they do is they add a 10% upcharge to your receipt at the end because they kind of market themselves as a warehouse store. And that's how they stay in business is by that extra 10% being added on there. So what I do at 10 box is I just get the good deals. I don't buy things regular price off the shelf because I don't think they're good prices. But these deals are going to be good through Tuesday, April 2nd. So if you have a 10 box Aldi or Kroger in your area with these same deals, get in there before they end on well Wednesday the 3rd would be too late. So here are the deals that I saw this week. The asparagus at 10 box is 98 cents a pound, which is a good deal for asparagus, a really good deal. Um, as a comparison at Walmart, they're $1.98 a pound. So I did just end up picking up two bundles. We'll eat on those fresh this week. Um, and then when I got home, Sarah said we got our first asparagus from our asparagus patch. So our little supply will start coming in. It's never enough for us to preserve anything like that. So I have already bought asparagus on sale in previous weeks and we have it frozen. So then I won't be having to buy things from the store when our asparagus is no longer growing. Also in the 10 box ad are the pineapples for $1.98 each. Not a bad price, but do not get them here because I'm going to tell you that Kroger and actually Aldi both have them beat this week. So pass on the pineapples. On the other side here, this uh, beef sirloin, 10 box has it $3.98 a pound. As a comparison at Walmart, it is $8.94 a pound. So that is a good deal. I did pass up on this this week, but if you need this, take advantage of it. Same thing with the 73% ground beef. They have it at $2.37 a pound compared to Walmart, which is $3.25, and I passed up on this as well. I did go ahead and get the chicken drumsticks at 72 cents a pound. At Walmart, uh, the comparison is $1.19 a pound. So I did pick up three bundles of this. My plan is um, we have family coming over for the eclipse here coming up soon, and I think one evening we're gonna grill some chicken drumsticks for supper that night. So I always like to keep a supply of these in the freezer anyhow. I like to keep at least one meal's worth for our family. And for the chicken drumsticks, that's about 10 pounds worth. So these three packages here, there, maybe you can see them better that way, will be one meal's worth for our family. There will be a little bit of leftovers. Okay, that was it in the sale ad here for 10 box. My grand total for the chicken and the asparagus came to $11.87. And then next we will move on to Aldi. 
Well, Aldi gave me a surprise this week, so it was a good surprise, but we're gonna look at the sale ad here first and just see what the good deals are. Like I'd mentioned at 10 bucks, the uh, pineapple is a better deal at Aldi at $1.49 each, but spoiler alert, Kroger is still a better deal than Aldi if you have the same sales as I do. So pass those up at Aldi if you have the good deal at Kroger like I do, and I'll get to that in just a minute. The avocados at 69 cents each are a decent price, not spectacular, but if you wanna get some of those, you know, that it's an okay price. Now the carrots, they did this sale before, the little two pound bags for 99 cents, and that is a really good deal. And I did stock up when they had them before. Um, as a comparison, $1.59 for this same quantity at Walmart. So since they ran the sale again, uh, Sarah and I discussed it and we're gonna go ahead and try to preserve some. We're gonna go ahead and can some carrots. So I did pick up 10 of the two pound bags and this will be in our to-do list here in the next several days is to go ahead and can up some carrots. That is a stock up price for me. The sweet potatoes right here, 59 cents a pound. That is a good deal too, and actually Kroger has the exact same deal this week as well. So just pick a store, whatever's most convenient, and go ahead and take advantage of those. Down here, the Brussels sprouts. This is a good deal. So I typically do get my um, once a month shopping haul Brussels sprouts at Aldi because it is the best deal. But this markdown at 99 cents a bag is an even better deal. They're usually $1.39. And at Walmart, they're currently $1.42. So I went in and I picked up a whole case of Brussels sprouts. <laughs> so these will just go in the freezer. There were 24 12 ounce bags in the case. And when we cook up Brussels sprouts, we go through at least four bags, sometimes five bags on a cookie sheet in order to cook these up. So. 24 bags sounds like a lot, but when you divide it up by four to five bags per meal, it does go faster than you would think. So this is also a stock up price for me. The butter, can you believe I have a big fat X there on that butter? <laughs> I always get excited when it's on sale. Um, Aldi does have it this week at $2.69 a pound with a limit of six. And typically that would be a good price but I'm gonna tell you that Kroger has it beat this week. So I did stock up on butter at Kroger this week instead of Aldi. So double check, your Kroger might have a better price there too. Let's see, let me open up. There was one more thing inside their big sale ad here for Aldi this week, the chocolate chips. They have their semi-sweet chocolate chips, 12 ounce bag for $1.59. As a comparison at Walmart, those sell for $2.62. Now, I didn't pick any up because just recently they had their dark chocolate chips on sale, and I did a big stock up on those, but if I had not done that, I would have been loading up on these because that is a good stock up price as well. So that was it in the sale ad. Um, as far as regular price items, I bought this. Um, Romaine Hearts, um, we've been invited. We have a gathering with friends coming up here soon, and I've been asked to bring my seven layer salad. So we have everything else for the salad either growing on our farm or already in stock in the refrigerator. So this is all I needed to buy for the seven layer salad. Now, do you see my big massive box of bananas back there? Okay, so I walked in, and the first thing in my Aldi right there, they have um, oranges and bananas right there as you walk in the front door. And they did not have it advertised in a big, bold sign or anything. They had the regular price tag, and in little numbers, it said 23 cents a pound. <laughs> so these are regular 47, 48 cents a pound, somewhere in that range. So 23 cents a pound is a really good deal. I decided to just get a whole case of it. So I picked up the whole case. Uh, apparently this is right around 40 pounds is what comes in a case. So I got those for 23 cents a pound. Um, these will be eaten on fresh this week and they will be frozen for smoothies in the future. 
So, and maybe even put some in the dehydrator too. Children have been eating up our um, dehydrated banana chips that we made up previously, so I may need to think about putting another batch in the dehydrator too. Grand total at Aldi came to $49.07 this week. Next stop was Kroger. Okay, let's see what good deals I was able to get at Kroger this week. Some in the sale ad and some were just surprises there in the store. So as far as in the sale ad, they have, okay, their boneless, skinless chicken breast here. $1.99 a pound, which is a good deal. This is a digital coupon, so you will need to clip it, and there is a limit of five on these. Um, as a comparison at Walmart, these would be $3.25 a pound. So since there was a limit of five, I picked up five of these packages here, and they were right at roughly marked at, you know, $15, $16 or so a piece because there was just shy of four pounds right around, well, this one was over four pounds in each package. So that is what I ended up picking up. And of course, the sticker price on here was for the $3.99, which was Kroger's regular price. Um, it rang up at the $1.99 per pound price. So good, good deal there on those boneless, skinless chicken breasts. And Sarah and I, our plan is to can this this week. So this will never even go in the freezer. It's currently, it was fresh at the store. Tin Box typically sells their things already frozen, but at Kroger, this was fresh. So this will just go straight to the canner is the plan. Okay, there's those pineapples that are on sale. So at Kroger, they are 99 cents a piece. This is a digital coupon. So again, limit of five. As a comparison at Walmart, you'd pay $2.04 a piece there. Um, I did pick up the limit of five pineapples. So we will be snacking on these as they become ripe this week. Um, but again, you know, don't get them at Walmart because even if you don't get them at Kroger, Aldi had a better deal in their sale ad this week too. So you have options on the pineapples. Okay, let me open this up. And let's see, let's just go up to the top here and go ahead and mention that two times the fuel points with that digital coupon there that you'll need to clip. If you're grocery shopping Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, go ahead and take advantage of that so you can save on gas for your vehicle. The asparagus, I went ahead and circled it because consistently Kroger's asparagus is a better quality than 10 boxes asparagus. So if you wanted a better quality, you might want to pay the $1.49 a pound at Kroger, which is still, it's an awesome price for asparagus. It's a very good price. It, you know, 10 box beats it this week, but I know not all of you have a 10 box. So Kroger may be the way to go for you guys. There's those sweet potatoes, just like Aldi, 59 cents a pound. You have options there. The cheese, the little eight ounce bars, three for $5, is a good deal this week. As a comparison at Walmart, um, you'd be paying $5.99 for three bars over there. So I did go ahead, I picked up six bars of the sharp cheddar. And I'll just add that to our rotation. And there's that butter down there, better deal than Aldi. Okay, $2.29 a pound. The trick is you have to buy three or more. So there is no limit, but the minimum is that you must buy three. It's part of their mix and match sale. So um, as a comparison at Walmart, you'd be paying $3.78. Like I said, Kroger is $2.29. I did also have an additional e-coupon for 70 cents off one. So that came off extra. So one of my packages of butter was $2.29 minus 70 cents, which makes it an even better deal. And I went ahead and stocked up with 10 pounds of it. These will go in the freezer. We are getting butter from Daisy, our Jersey cow, but this will keep. And the time will come when we are not getting this quantity from Daisy. And then we will be glad that we have this when I don't have that Daisy butter to fall back on there. So let me go ahead and open it up one-handed. It's always tricky. The cereal up here. Okay, Malto Meal cereal. This was a deal last week also, but there was a limit. 
This week there is not a limit. You do have to buy three or more. This is also part of that mix and match sale, just like the butter is. But when you do buy the minimum of three, then you can get the cereal for $3.99 a bag. And if you purchase the larger, the larger number of ounce bags, it is a really, really good deal. So I got these, oh, it's the Cinnamon Toast Crunch generic version with the 33 ounces. I think there is only one other flavor that has more than 33 ounces per bag. So just make sure you're going for the big, big bags. As a comparison at Walmart, you'd be paying $5.48 for a bag of that cereal. I picked up five of these bags, but there's no limit. I mean, I guess I could have gotten 10 of them or they still had some left on the shelf, but since I had gotten some last week too, I didn't get it this week. So, okay, what else is on here? Okay, every time I go into Kroger, I always check the salad section and I look for these reduced stickers. And this week they had the salsa ranch, two of those, and one of these cheddar ranch. So we went ahead and picked those up. And these will, we will add canned chicken to these bagged mixes. And this will make a quick lunch or a side for a meal. And uh, those are just good treats for us. I also always check at the end of the produce department. Mine will have either a cart or some bins with some marked down produce. And these little mandarins were in there this week. Um, each baggie was 99 cents. Um, I did weigh a couple of the bags and they were all over one pound in each bag. So at 99 cents for a little more than one pound, that was a good deal. So I think, I think I hit everything on there. Everything at Kroger this week. Now my grand total for all of that there came to $111.51. What we'll do at this point now is we'll go look at my clipboard and we're going to do a comparison to Walmart. If I had gone to Walmart and bought all the things that were on this table here, what would I have paid out of pocket? How does it compare to what I really paid out of pocket? Okay, we'll get on over here past Rebecca's half-eaten biscuit <laughs> and we will look at the deals that I got and what we would have paid. So the top two things here are my 10 box items and I have added in the 10% upcharge that 10 box adds onto there. So when you see my sale, my cost there for the sale price, it does include the 10%. So I started off with the asparagus at 10 box. My price was the $2.06. At Walmart, that would have been $3.96. Those chicken drumsticks, I got right around 11 and a half pounds, and I paid $9.14, whereas at Walmart, it would have cost me $13.73. The bananas there at Aldi, that nice surprise. For that whole case of the 40 pounds, I paid $9.45. Whereas at Walmart, they're currently 47 cents a pound there. When I looked it up, it would have been $18.80. The Romaine Hearts, just I paid regular price at Aldi for that, which was $3.19, which was a little savings from Walmart at $3.24. Those Brussels sprouts, the frozen ones that were on sale, the whole case that I purchased came to $23.76. And at Walmart, that would have been $34.08. The carrots that we're going to end up canning there, the 10 bags that I bought, I paid $9.90. And at Walmart, that would have been $15.92. The butter at Kroger, not Aldi, Kroger. The 10 pounds of that, I paid $22.20. And at Walmart, it would have been $37.80. So that was a really good deal. They're at Kroger on the butter. Go ahead and stock up, guys. There is no limit on that this week. So if you have room in your freezer, take advantage of that one for sure. The cheddar cheese, the little eight ounce bars, I bought six of them. 
and I paid $10. And at Walmart, it would have been $10.98. That cinnamon toast malto meal cereal, the five bags that I bought came to $19.95. At Walmart, it would have been $27.40. The boneless skinless chicken breast, they're at Kroger. That sale, limit of five. I paid $39.35. And at Walmart, that same quantity would have been $64.25. So that is why I got that, and it's going in the canning jars, putting it on the shelf in the root cellar. The mandarin oranges that were on markdown there in the produce department, I paid $2.97 for all of those bags, and $3.98 is what that would have been at Walmart. Let's see the salad kits, those markdowns. I paid, what did I pay, $5.06 for the three bags, and at Walmart it would have been $11.94. And then lastly, those pineapples, the best deal at Kroger, five of them, I paid $4.95. And at Walmart, those would cost $10.20. So, totals. My out-of-pocket was $161.98. If I had bought all that at Walmart, I would have paid $2.56.28, which is a savings of $94.30, you guys. So that makes me happy. It was definitely worth the gas to go to town and hit three stores in order to save that amount of money. So I'm very happy about that. And now we'll sit down with the clipboard. We're nearing the end of the pay period. And you know, I deduct a little bit here and a little bit there each week out of the grocery budget. So we will see where I am at and what I still need to buy with the money that is left. Okay guys, let's see where we have ended up at at this point. I've got the clipboard. And like I'd mentioned previously, started with $1,100 at the beginning of the pay period, did the once a month grocery haul, so I deducted that. I did a Sam's Club haul and it was deducted off of there too. I hit up Dollar Tree, took a little bit off there. Um, we did a weekly sale ad video last week and I stocked up at Menards on white vinegar. I bought a year's worth of white vinegar. So all those things have been deducted. And at the end of last week's video, I was left with $382.06. And all the things on the table here behind me came to an out-of-pocket of, of $172.45, which leaves me now with $209.61 left in the grocery budget. And what do I need to buy with the $209? Two things. So um, I need to place an Azure standard order, which honestly, as of right now, I don't think is gonna be that big, which is good. And next week's weekly sale ad haul. So it should be good. We should be okay. Um, you never know what's going to be on sale. Am I going to run into a great deal on bananas and buy way more than I ever imagined I would on this week's grocery haul? Maybe. <laughs> or maybe meat will be on sale and I blow my budget like I did when the corned beef went on sale um, last month's paycheck. Maybe. <laughs> or maybe I will have extra left over at the end of the pay period. That has happened too. So... I will just keep up to date with you guys and let you know how it's going. So far, so good. Like you can see, you know, we're eating well, mostly healthy, whole food things. That's what I like to stick to. And then we do a little bit of treats, you know, here with the cereal too. So it's not all fruits and vegetables, healthy stuff, but it is mostly. I like to think that's balanced, at least I hope. So, um... I was thinking about taking you all outside with me for a little bit because it was such a pretty day. So I might do that. Let's run outside real quick and we'll see what kids are doing. What are you doing? Are you out here singing? He's going to go that way? No. 
this way, not this way. <laughs> not this way? Not that you way. You tell him. But it's this way. Okay, you keep him in line. So I saw you out here riding your bike. Yes, I did a bit of game. And you know what I saw you doing? Hmm? I saw you on the tire swing. Were you swinging on the tire swing? Yes. Yes. You did that tire swing? I mean? did see it. I saw you on it. And I saw that one up in the tree again. <laughs> They're going to think you live up in the tree now. Do you live up there? Nope. Nope. <laughs> we let you come little... inside sometimes. Yeah, just my little comforter. That's now your you, comfy spot? <laughs> Is that your couch? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna see what the others are doing. Got some goats out, getting some of the fresh grass. Yeah. Yeah, they're having fun being in a different pasture, aren't they? Uh huh. I said there's big grass over here. <laughs> yes, they're funny goats. It does that down, <laughs> it does that down again. Both of you on one bike? Yeah. Does that work all right? No crashes? Yeah. Anna's worried about a crash. Oh, they're not over here. I thought they were over here working in the greenhouse, but they're moving stuff from the greenhouse to the garden, I think. Here, let's let's take a peek over here. This isn't the main garden, this is the second garden. And I know Mama, they've been working on getting the peas. Go down. No, don't go in there. She's got things getting planted. So two rows of peas here. The sun is blinding me, so I hope you're able to see it, but yeah. No, I'll hold your hand. You want to hold my hand? Okay. Let's go see them at the garden. Okay. Daisy, were you telling me something? What is it? Yeah. Is that what you think? Hi, rosy girl. <laughs> Come here, sweetness. Come here, sweetness. She's a good girl, isn't she? <laughs> Guys, I totally cannot see what I'm filming because I'm blinded by the sun. So, <laughs> I don't know what you're getting to see. <laughs> Here comes Daisy, girl. She was mooing at me. Where's my hay at? Is that what she's saying? <laughs> More hay. I want more hay. Is that what you're saying, Daisy? Yeah. You got a hmm. No, that's where we still have to get more of the potatoes in the ground. Oh. Andrew's been working on tilling that up all nice and pretty. Okay, I do it on it. You can step on it some, yes. Okay, do it a thumb. You can step on it. It's okay. Is it bumpy? Yes, it's bumpy. He says he has plans to put the woven weed fabric along here that Miss Lisa sent. <laughs> All right, let's go find them in the garden, baby. Andrew just made Daisy happy. She was over here bellowing at me. Maybe she was hollering at you saying, hurry up with my hay. <laughs> now, that's so nice, Andrew. He made Daisy happy. <laughs> okay, so this is the last glimpse of the greenhouse full of stuff. David, what are you doing? Goofball. Attempted to hide. Are you hiding in the jungle? Yes. I live so, in the jungle. David and Sarah are clearing stuff out in here. Gonna go ahead and move things out to the garden. She thinks, she's a gambler, she thinks that uh, it's warm enough that everything will be fine. Just relocate it out in the garden instead of in its nice warm greenhouse here. So, you're beating on my belly again. Why are you doing that so much? 
You think it's funny? Yeah. Yes? Okay. She said she wanted me to film her driving her airplane. We got that. Are you flying fast? No. I'm nope. Go. You're flying slow? <laughs> oh, my mom got us this, I think, from Sam's Club many years ago. Why? Why? Because she thought you'd have fun with it. Grandma thought you would like it. I'm gonna make it for me. She made it for me. She bought it for you. Oh, in a box. Was that a good idea for Grandma to buy this? Yes. Yes. I said thank you, Grandma, for welcome. I said thank you, Grandma. I said Grandma put it right there. And then Grandma put it right there. Is that what she did? Yes. Yeah. Oh, that was a good Grandma. Okay, last stop in the garden. Yummy, yummy. This is where they're putting all the brassicas out here. Oh, yeah, don't pick any more of those, baby. She wants those to go to seed. Okay. Okay. And then we eat them? And then we'll eat them, maybe. <laughs> and there's the potatoes. Did you find a kitty cat over there? Yeah. Yes. It's Twix. Twix is hiding over in the blueberry bushes. Let me see. Yes. This is Twix. Twix just showed up at Daddy our farm double, double several years ago. He's a noisy cat. Oh, here he comes. Yes. Hi, Twix. You gonna go see him? Yeah. Okay. Oh. He says, here comes Rebecca to see me. Come with me, she says. <laughs> okay. Little girl said she wanted a baby apple. What are you gonna do with that baby apple? Um, eat it outside. Eat it outside? Okay, there you go. You can go have snack outside. <laughs> you need help? Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, that is really truly it for today's video. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. It was such a pretty day. I just felt like we needed to go outside. So I'm going to get some groceries put away and then I'll head outside some too. There's still laundry to bring in and stuff for the day. So if you did enjoy the video, if you found it helpful in any way, please give me a thumbs up. Please, please. <laughs> Rebecca's giving a thumbs up over there. Apple in one hand, thumb up on the other one. Um, also, double check that you are truly subscribed if you intend to be. And please tell others about Ozark Family Homestead. It really would help our family's channel grow and we would appreciate it. So thank you so much, guys. I will see you all on the next video. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching Ozark.